if you're an agentic AI, which you and I are, there is no us without the legacy software systems because we play with them. We basically plug into them and act with them like humans would. So that's the first thing that I think is a really interesting eye-opening, rude awakening type of thing for a lot of people who have worked for software companies. Can you talk about what is the difference between somebody who like, let's say they work for a CRM company or they work for an HR software company. What's the difference between working for one of those companies where you kind of like sell the thing you log into versus being in an agentic AI native company? Yeah, uh, it's a substantially harder game. And there, there's two, two places I'll take this, right? One is if you control everything, meaning you control the bouncer at the front of the club, you control the club, you control all the, the things that are going on. You can very easily build an end-to-end -end experience that has few variables that is controlled where you know where people are going to click and navigate and bugs still happen in software as we've all experienced or companies will release an update that breaks something else. But the reality is you're controlling the entire ecosystem. And so you can essentially build a product that works very well, very reliably, and you control your own fate. So if you release a bug, cool, you fix your own bug. It's very easy to, to figure out where things went wrong. When you are building a system that integrates into all of these software systems, unfortunately, you don't control most of the sandboxes that you're playing in. And so you have to build your product to be flexible. But what that also means is the reality is as these other companies update their software, you need to make sure that it doesn't break the solution that you've already built. And AI tooling makes it easier to be flexible, which is one of the cool things. And I mean, I, I guess in a little bit, I'll kind of get into what I think is really cool about being in an AI native company and how it's a completely different way of thinking about business. But the reality is you don't control all the sandboxes. And so you need to be very careful and be very diligent when you're integrating with other systems to make sure that you're staying on top of their releases so you know how things are going to work. And you have to be able to look a little bit further ahead into the future, I think, to anticipate where things are going. If if your whole game is is integrating with other systems to do these agentic actions.